In your vote 2022, Fox 45 continues to hold our leaders accountable, including those who want to be your next leader. For our Your Voice segment this morning, gubernatorial candidate for Maryland. Joining us now, former state delegate and former Prince George's County executive, Rashern Baker. Uh, Rashern, thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for having me. Glad to be on this morning. So sure, you are running for governor. You just released an ad. It's a controversial ad and it's drawing a lot of attention, which is exactly what you want in a campaign. But you were talking about um, the, the line, nobody in power gives a damn because they are black. You're talking about all the, the murders that happened in Baltimore City, though. My first question to you is, who is the one that you're referring to as in power? I mean the government itself. Just think about it. This morning you talked about the homicide rates in Baltimore City going up. And at the governor's level and the state level, we're not helping the mayor or the city out in this. Had this been any other place, even in Prince George's County when I was county executive, um, we would have declared a state of emergency. We would have brought in all the resources we can to stop this. But in Baltimore, we treat it as if it's normal. And enough is enough. And so my statement is that we as a state can't be all that we need to be unless our major city, our jewel, is what it needs to be. And we can't do that if we don't address the problems head on. You had said, um, though, because they are black, though, specifically, it's a race yes. thing that 2,000 young black men have died in the last eight years. Uh, a lot of people will then say, well, who's the one shooting it? And it's, should race even matter? Because it doesn't matter. 2,000 people died. That's right. And that's, and that's just the issue. Imagine had this been either just imagine if this was in Western Maryland mm -hmm. and you had, you know, 2,000 homicides of mostly young white folks who were killed by mostly young white folks. We would be up in arms, and we should be. The fact that it's black on black crime doesn't excuse the fact that as a government, we should be doing everything that we can to stop it. And that's the point I'm trying to make is that enough of this saying, okay, whatever the issues are, it's the city's problem. It's not, it's the state's problem. And that's why our commercial hits home. Mm -hmm. I know it's controversial, but unless we wake people up, we will never solve this crime problem. And we can never do the other things we want to do in the state. And you say by hiring more police there with, um, with safety and public safety, but that's actually number two on your website. Your first approach on your website when you go to your campaign is education. What would you yes. do for education? So what we would do by declaring a state of emergency, it just doesn't open up the Maryland State Police to come in and help Baltimore City out. It also opens up resources to our school system. Uh, it opens up resources to our mental health. And so that's what you know, we want to do. We want to make sure that we open up all the resources. So education is a critical part, but not just the school itself, but also making sure we have social workers, we have mental health providers in our schools, and that will help us reduce crime. I've seen it work in my own county. I've done it, um, and, it's, and it's sustainable. Uh, you, you have. In Prince George's County, that you, you show that also on your website, what you've done there, how you've been able to help um, that county. Now you're looking at a state. If you're talking about possibly moving the state capitol to Baltimore, at least the state house, and moving everyone there to Baltimore to show that it's proof, would that mean that Baltimore gets the ultimate voice and that somebody in Allegheny or along the eastern shore, their voice is not as loud? No, it means that, so by moving the office to Baltimore, when we're not in session, mm -hmm. when we're in a 90-day session, you're in Annapolis. <clears throat> But when we're not in session, we should be focusing where our number one city is and our number one problem. Because I can't convince somebody in Allegheny County or Hagerstown or Salisbury mm -hmm. that we really care about their issues if we are not solving the problem of the number one city in, in our state and the one that everyone knows. I took a trip to China mm -hmm. um, to, to get business for Prince George's County. Uh, they didn't know anything about Prince George's County, but they knew Baltimore City. And so unless we make sure this jewel right here is everything it needs to be and the focus of the tension there will help us actually expand up uh, for the other areas. And we did it in Prince George's County. We moved our capital, our seat, to Largo where we were having problems, focused attention on there. We saw job growth. We saw crime go down. And the entire county benefited. All right, primary is coming up July 19th. That's actually right around the corner. It's hard to believe, but it will come quick. So, Rashern Baker, gubernatorial candidate, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me this morning. Sure. Now, I want to go 